I talk too much. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just going to preface this video by saying I just got back from a church camp which involved much, much, much screaming at the top of your lungs for four days straight. And so, I can't tell if my voice sounds different, I don't think it does, but my throat hurts so bad. I haven't even posted like shorts since I got home because I have just felt so crappy. So, bear with me. We're doing a pre-summer stats video. It's been going around all over TikTok. So, I've looked through those videos and gotten some of the like the categories from those and then I've added some of my own. And so yeah, I think it'll be really fun. I want to make it a long form video just because I can talk more about each thing in a long form than I can in a short form because on, t on YouTube the short form videos can only be a minute long and that's not enough time for me to talk about all of this. So we're making it a long form and I'm actually so excited to do this because I love talking even though my voice hurts. So let's go. And so I'm going to go through the ones that I've seen on TikTok mostly and then some of my own are at the end. So let's get started. The first one is relationship status. I'm single, y'all. Very much single. Never ever been in a relationship in my entire life. And then my age, I just turned 15. So yeah, go watch my birthday vlog, my birthday haul, those came out last week. Um, yeah, just turned 15 so that won't change over summer. How many piercings do I have? I have two piercings in my ear. Honestly, kind of hoping I'll get a third, either a third, like here. Just, my ears are really small so it ar it'd already be in my cartilage, which means I have to go to a tattoo shop to get that. Oh, my light just died. Anyways. <laughs> I want to get a third piercing, it might happen over summer, it might not, but if I get a third it'll already be into my cartilage because my ears are very small, which is annoying. So I'll either get a third or I'll just go up, I think. Because like, I've heard cartilage piercings don't really hurt that badly. So like, but I've also heard like, you shouldn't get two cartilage piercings at one time. So I don't know, like I might just do this ear and just go up here, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll have three piercings by the end of summer, but I doubt it. Um, I have zero tattoos. I really don't desire to have a tattoo at any point in my life, except for like I might get one on my finger right here, but I don't know, like a cross or something. I've always liked that, and it'll fade away, you know, so like it's not that big a deal. Um, I have 106 subscribers, so thank y'all for that. I have 106 subscribers on YouTube, and I'm hoping my goal is to have 1,000 subscribers on YouTube by the end of the summer. So hopefully at the post-summer stat video, I could say 1,000. Okay, and so, yeah. <laughs> um, I have 87 TikTok followers. <laughs> I don't have a goal for TikTok, honestly. My Other than YouTube, TikTok and Instagram are so hard to get followers and subscribers. So honestly, if I can get one follower on TikTok or Instagram over summer, I will be a-okay. And so, yeah. Um, I have 148 Instagram followers, and I've been, in, I've been at 148 since I started. Instagram, I think, because, yeah, it doesn't really go up that often, because it, I, the Instagram al algorithm is so difficult to manage, like, I honestly have no idea what the algorithm on Instagram is, so, honestly, my favorite social media platform is probably YouTube, for me to make content on, and then TikTok, I like scrolling, and Instagram is honestly just for friends, I could not care less about Instagram, honestly. Um, my hair, my hair is honestly pretty long. I've seen on TikTok people like measuring their hair, how many inches past their shoulders it is. I'm not going to do that um, because, yeah, I don't want to. But this is how long my hair is, if you can see. Pretty long. 
I have never chopped my hair, only trims, and also never dyed it, so this is my virgin hair, brown virgin hair. Um, honestly, if I give in, it might be different by the end of the summer, because I really, I've really wanted to dye it recently. Okay, so I am 5'4 and 3 fourths inches tall. I will always stick to the 5'4 and 3 fourths inches, okay? Because I am not just 5'4", like, I am, like, so close to being 5'5", five five, okay? That is why all of my shoes have platforms in them, basically. Like, honestly, my Nikes really don't give me that much, but I am 5'5", five five with them on. And then my Converse, which have, like, this big of a platform, I'm 5'6", with those on. So, those, those are the ones I used to wear mostly, and then I started wearing my Nikes because I started wearing different jeans, and it was this whole thing. And so, yeah. I count myself as 5'5 five five sometimes, but without shoes on, I am 5'4 and 3 fourths inches. Anyways, um, and then my favorite artists, honestly, y'all are going to expect me to just say Taylor Swift and bam, boom, done. Um, I do love Taylor Swift, but, and she is my top favorite artist, but, there is a but, Sabrina Carpenter is up there, and over the summer, I always listen to Niall Horn, especially his new album, The Show. It's so summer vibes, and I love it. So I know he's going to be one of my top artists, and he already is. I'm literally going to his concert tomorrow for the show, and I am so, like, beyond excited. I'm, oh, my God. I am unemployed, but I am hoping to get a job once I get back from my summer trip, which is, like, mid-July-ish. So... But since I am only 15, it's very limited options, so I gotta find something. Because I need money, y'all. I really do. I hang out with friends too often to not have money, or like a constant source of money. So I am hoping to get a job, and yeah. Honestly, my, I was talking to my older sister and she was like, Mom and Dad, like, basically made me get a job because I was turning 16 and she did not want a job. And I've literally, I've wanted a job since I was, think, since I was, like, 12, maybe. And pr it was probably sooner than that. But I've always, 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 always wanted to work, like, somewhere. And I, it, I just find it so fun. And I know people out there is gonna, are going to be like, don't get a job until, like, the latest you can because you're not gonna like it. I'm like, okay, but I don't, I don't think that. Like, I, I think I love working, personally. But you have to be, I really wanna work at a bookstore, but you have to be 18. Cause Barnes & Noble does hire at 16, but it's like for like this weird position. And then they really hire at like 18 because you sell like obviously books that have adult content in them, I guess. And so you have to be, obviously, an adult. And then I wanted to be a barista, but you also have to be 16 to do that. And so my options are really, like, Publix, like Chick-fil-A. So kind of hoping for Chick-fil-A. Everybody's warned me off working at Chick-fil-A, but I don't really care. I want to work there. Right now, my favorite book is either Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter or Powerless by Lauren Roberts. <sighs> Those books, oh my gosh. Powerless is like a centerpiece on my shelf right there. Um, and then Better Than the Movies is down here. Oh, y'all. Those books are literally like, oh, they're so good. And sequels to both of them come out this year. I'm Getting Reckless by Lauren Roberts, the sequel to Powerless the day it comes out. Be Anyways, moving on, because if I talk about books for too long, I'm just gonna ramble, ramble, and ramble. Okay. <sighs> Let's calm down from that. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then, next, my favorite show. I saw this all over TikTok. Favorite show. I don't really have one at the moment. I haven't been watching TV shows that often, because, listen, I basically only watch three shows over and over. It's Friends, The Office, and Gilmore Girls, right? And usually I'll watch Gilmore Girls to fall asleep, but I've li been listening to audiobooks to fall asleep now. 
and I haven't watched a show in a while because I'm either scrolling TikTok or reading or listening to an audiobook. But I am anticipating for A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, that TV show, to be my favorite at the end of the summer. Uh, next, my current read right now at this very moment is Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I think that's who wrote that book. Um, so yeah, I'm literally on page 40 of it and I'm really waiting for like something to happen because everybody's like, oh my gosh, the Inheritance Games is so good, blah 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 blah. Um, I'm not seeing it yet and so I'm hoping that it is actually good. My book count. I have read 31 books this year. Mind you, I started... Hello? That's your life. Oh. I love it. No. Oh. Did you not hear me talking? I didn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, this is great because you can include this in the in the very beginning of your video. Uh, Do it. I was just trying to finish. My throat hurts. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> My book count is, I've read 31 books this year. Mind you, I started like really getting into reading like March because I read one book in January, one book February, and then 13 books in March. So, um, I read, I started reading in January kind of because I picked up A Girl's Guide to Murder at like end of January. And then I read the second book of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder in February. And then, did I read the third one in February also? I think I did, because I ended up reading 16 books before April. So I think I read two books in February, which was Good Girl, Bad Blood, and As Good as Dead, both by Holly Jackson. We love Holly Jackson. I love her with my whole entire heart. She's amazing. Um, so yeah, 31 books this year, and I am hoping, because I've only read five books in month, in month, what the freak am I saying? I've only read five books in May, which is kind of annoying me, and so honestly, I'm trying to finish Inheritance Games before Saturday, and it's Thursday at the moment, I think I can finish it. I honestly, I might finish it today, I don't know, but um, I'm trying to finish it before Saturday, so I can say that I read six books, because I just, I have this, like, mental competition with myself, which is so terrible, but that's what it does. Anyways, um, my favorite movie at the moment, this has not changed since whenever I did the Get to Know Me video, and so I watched La La Land, and I started crying, and then it ended up becoming my favorite movie ever, because I do not watch many movies. And then my favorite song at the moment is Paradise by Bozzy. Better than the movies fans, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all. I can't. Okay, so basically, Lynn Painter puts a playlist in every single one of her books that like goes with her characters. And so for Better Than The Movies, she obviously had a playlist, and I listen to that playlist all the time because it brings back the memories of reading Better Than The Movies. Don't ask me why I'm obsessed with that book, it's just so amazing. And so I listen to the music that's supposed to be like in the book every time, because in the book she'll like, Liz, which is the main character, she'll like make a soundtrack for everything that she's doing. And so she'll be like, this song goes with like this scene, and this song goes with this scene. And basically, Paradise by Bozzy is supposed to go with the scene where they kiss, and like they make up and stuff. And it's so adorable. And every time I listen to that song, first of all, Paradise by Bozzy, huge summer vibes. Like, literally that song, driving to that song with the windows down, like on the highway going super fast, and just like, oh my gosh. Literally, best best feeling ever, I think. Like, anyways, so that's my favorite song at the moment. I've listened to it on repeat like every single day and it's just so good. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it so much. Like, so much. Okay. 
I have to calm down because every time I talk about one of my favorite books, I get like hyper and it makes me so happy. <laughs> okay, next. This is the last thing I have on here. Um, basically like my close friends. I count close because... How do I explain this? I don't, like, I'm kind of... I don't do well at like really making friends because I either like really like somebody or like don't at all. And so, but I've gotten better so I have like a friend group and then I have like three really close friends that I can go to with anything and those who, those, that's who I count like my best friends. I have two best friends that I've known literally my entire life and then there's one that I just met and we like instantly clicked. And so, yeah, I would say I have three close friends right now, and I can go to them with anything, and I love them with my whole heart. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like this video, and then subscribe to my channel, because honestly, that Niall Horan vlog that's coming out next week, I know it's going to be so fun, so, yeah. Um, and then go follow my social medias. I have TikTok, Instagram, and then obviously YouTube. And I post three times a day on all of those platforms. Have the best day ever.